Hey, hey, what's up? This is your boy Asiago back at you again, not on 3AM Thoughts. That's right, folks, on this very same channel, 3AM Thoughts brings you a brand new show to the channel. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of weird, you know, like, to have that multiple shows on the same channel. Uh, like, Pumba said that he was going to have his own show here, but he, he he never did anything with it. Uh, he spends most of his time at Burger King anyway, so, I mean, well, whatever, whatever. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so, right here... Right here, right now, we're gonna introduce you a brand new show with a brand new host. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. But this guy, yeah, he's he's coming, he's staying, he's gonna be a new alternative on this channel. Anyways, everybody, put it together for uh, let's see, uh, hey Baba, what did you want to call this uh, podcast again? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, well, uh, that, okay, well, uh, let's see. Let, let, let's brainstorm an idea. Uh, so, well, let me go ahead and introduce you to, uh, to, to this dude. Actually, no, I'll let him introduce himself. Hey, guys, my name is Bob Fartley here. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to, uh, well, I never really d decided, but I wanted to call this uh, the newscast. Dude, that's boring as hell. What? This is my show, I'll call it whatever I want! Uh, the newscast? <laughs> Bro okay, brother, that sounds boring as hell. Like, come on, you gotta come up with a better name. Uh, like, like, uh, like, Newsflash! That sounds very generic! Uh, well, I mean, it's better than newscast. Fine! Newsflash! With Bob Farley! Hey, what's up? I am Bob Farley here, and you may know me from, uh, from projects in, in the past. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you take it from me. I I'm going. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 what are you doing? <sighs> okay, fine, fine. Hello, what's up? I'm Bob Fartley here, and welcome to Newsflash, here, uh, uh, exclusively on 3AM Thoughts. Now, it took me a while to get on this show, because, well, Pumba has no idea how, how, how to work with people. Let me tell you that, man is an idiot, but not as big as an idiot as uh, the person I'm going to be talking about today. But before we get into it, this is the first episode of my show, so I might as well go ahead and introduce myself, you know? Alrighty, so, you know, I, 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 I hail from this place called Deer Park, Italy, Australia. I was born at the young age of 12. I will go more into that in a future episode, but let me tell you this. I, I, I've i gone through many years trying to make it into the into the whole the, the newscasting uh, field, the whole career field. You know, uh, the whole career field. Oh, I, I can't speak for nothing today, but you know, that's part of the reason why I couldn't make it. It's because I was partially a part of a speech impediment where I couldn't speak on live TV. Hell, I'm barely able to speak on this show, and it's not even live. But Anyways, well, I, you, you may know me as the same Bob Farley, you know, who, who reported on that legendary day all those years ago. Yes, the, the, the one day where the monster appeared out of nowhere, you know, where, uh, you know, where, where this uh, people were, were reporting time traveling and stuff. It was, it, it, it was nuts. Xflix made an entire, uh, they made an entire documentary of the film. You should go ahead and watch it. Or not, it's really terrible, but... Anyways, you know, just go going on forward, you know, I worked with uh, Xflix Studios, I worked at X School Studios, and with, with either one, you know, they they, you know, they, they fired me for, for various reasons. You know, one of them was for yellow journalism. Like, how are you gonna fire a journalist for yellow journalism? I like yellow journalism telling me lies, tell, telling the people in the media lies and stuff like that. Come on, it's not lies. Like, all the stories I've ever reported were not lies. Look, let me tell you. Look, I, I, all I did was remove all the facts so the story would be more exciting, would be more interesting. Like, it's not yellow journalism, it's trying to capture the audience. But anyways, you, look, after, after, that, after that whole shebang happened, you know, I moved all the way here to Kensor. You know, it's, it's a great country here in North America, and, well, needless to say, a, a lot of things happen. Again, things that I will discuss in another episode, because tonight, we are talking about a different topic, a different subject. His name is Neon Firecracker! Yes, that's right, Neon Firecracker! He's the greatest menace to the society! You know, after coming here to the Ken store, you know, I decided I wanted to become a, a, a school teacher, you know, because I, other than reporting on the news, I've had a great passion for giving out information to, you know, to the future generation to try to raise up, you know, this next generation of the children to become the next architects, the next engineers, the next doctors and lawyers. But the problem is, the very problem is, is that some of those children have absolutely no potential, especially the one who I'm about to address today. You know, 
I, I, you know, I, I, I came over here to Kent's store not too long ago. It was about ten years ago where I came by, and well, I, so I, I applied for this job at a school. I applied for a job at a school. You know, I was trying to, you know, I, like, I was down to the dumps. Like, I was, I was not in the best position to be in. You know, so I decided to do apply for the custodian position. You know, because that really that's all I could could go for at the time. But the problem was, was that they got my application mixed up with somebody else. Apparently, I looked just like the other guy who wanted to take in the new principal position. And they gave it to me instead. Like, and, 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 like to be honest, I went ahead and took it. So I am the principal of elite elementary school. Yes, I don't know how they confused that. I don't know why everything turned out the way it did. But needless to say, I'm here. I'm the principal of the school. And I made sure, I made damn sure to make sure that my school was state recognized in the entire state of Texas, in the entire country of Kensnor, that we were a well-respected school, full of respectable students and a respectable reputation. But the problem was that, oh, oh, it, was, it wasn't until early 2020 when, when shit went down the toilet. And no, I am not talking about COVID, no. That is an entirely other ordeal. No, actually, we were able to overcome that. But the what, really, the real tragedy that happened in early 2020 was a student that we had. So, uh, here, here's some context. We he, he was actually a returning student. A returning student was coming back after 18 years. He went missing in 2002, never to be seen again until early 2020. Oh, that's when things changed, brother. That's when things changed. Oh. I, I I cannot go on talking about this dude without some kind of some some, some kind of drink here. Uh, wait, wait, what? What do you mean? What? It, it's a beer. What? You don't know what a beer looks like? What? what wait. What? What do you mean I can't drink on the show? I'll drink whatever the hell I damn want to. I am 60 years old. I'm drinking whatever I want to. You know what? Yeah, have that. Yeah, yeah. That's all fizzing. It's getting all over the floor. Yeah, that's how I like it. Oh uh, yeah. This, this boy, oh, I mean this man, really. Oh, look, the, the thing I hate about this country, the country of Kensal, is that they allowed this retarded menace, a far cry from his old self, to be allowed into my school. Look, Kensnor, the Kensnorian school system, it, oh, look, it allows for someone to resume public schooling at any age, at any grade. That look, it's okay. Well, okay, let me let me let me start back over because I, I I'm getting frustrated talking about this whole ordeal. The Kent Store school system allows for someone to resume public schooling at any age to the grade that, that most suits their mental state. Unfortunately for Neon Firecracker, he was no he was no longer the prodigy ninth grade that we had anymore. No. Yeah, let me tell you, it was a great, yeah, he, he, he used to be a great student, a, a, a great prodigy student, smartest, top of a, top of all, of all his class, helped out his fellow students, and volunteered at, at, at every, every school event that we had, you know, he, in fact, it felt like he was, a, it was a teacher's intern at, at a couple of points, but the problem was, is that after he went missing, and they came back, oh, he was much older, and I do mean he was much older, like, like, I don't, I don't know how. I don't know what happened. I don't know why. But when he came back as a 35-year-old, he came back with a mental state of a 7-year-old. I, I do not understand how this could be. You know, I do, I do not understand it at all. You know, he came back, you know, caused, caused some trouble, and then he disappeared. You know, it's, 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 it's retarded. That's what it is. You know, the Kent store school system doesn't allow me to discriminate. So I can't expel him. Therefore, I have to allow him to be the only, not to mean the only 35 year old in the third grade. Yet somehow the classwork is still too hard for him. I tried so many times to like downgrade him to the second, first, and possibly even the pre-K. But no, I can't, I can't even do that either. He has to be in the third grade. Oh, this, this school system in this country. It's one of the best, but it's also one of the worst. You know, and, like, he's gonna, he's gonna, look, I, I really wanted to repeat the second grade because maybe he might be able to start advancing quicker. But no, no, you know, like the school system won't allow me to. You know, my school used to be respected, uh, recognized by the entire district, by the entire southern region of Kensnor. But no, no, now it's the laughing stock. It's the, it's the laughing stock of the nation. And all because this 
Menace destroyed everything that I worked so hard to build. Neon Firecracker makes me look like a fool, a failure to the national school system, and a nitwit to, to all of his fellow students. Uh, I, uh, I, I, uh, uh, so beer on the rocks, man. Anyways, look, look at this. Look, this kid, this man, I can't even call him a kid. He's not even a boy, he's a man. He, he, like, uh, uh, look, uh, look, look, I, I, look uh, don't, don't get me wrong. Do not, please, do not get me wrong. I do not care if you want to live your life like a dumbass. I don't care if you want to live your life like you're a man child. You know what? You, you, you may be an eyesore to look at. You may be someone who I don't want to be with. But, but. You know, I, like, I, for the most part, I don't care. Unless you involve yourself with my life in any way, shape, or fashion. And that is what this guy is doing. I can't get him out of my school. I can't even transfer schools because no other schools want them except a principal uh, who, who hosts a man-child as one of the students. And he, yeah, he's the most well-known student, but not for any of the good reasons. But anyways, you know, he's... He's, he's, make, he's making me look bad in more ways than one. He causes nothing but trouble. He always wanders off and bites the other teachers. Yes, that's right. For some reason, when he came back, you know, he looked completely different than how he did before. We even did a DNA test. He is the same Neon Firecracker who was that prodigy student that we all know and love. Now he is the retarded, deformed student that we all know and hate. But, you know, n n n needless to say, you know, he came back with a ginormous mouth. I don't know how the human mouth can be that ginormous. Now, let me be clear. Ken's store is full of all kinds of different people of many different species, religions, race, races, and all other kinds of, you know, of backgrounds, you know? So, of course, you know, there, there's, uh, you, you know, you, you, you got the cyborgs, you got the mutants, you got the dwarves, you got the elves, you know, you got all kinds of different folk here living in Ken's store. So, it's not too abnormal to see somebody with a huge mouth. But this is a normal human originated from the planet Earth, and he's still got one hell of a of a chomper. Like, like this is abnormal. Look, like I'm not sure how you get like a three foot mouth out of out of a normal person. It's like his entire skull changed. You know, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's 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 an unbearable thing to see. It's not only an eyesore; it's something disturbing. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Oh. I like that, like, the, these beers, man. These beers. They always come back to me, man. Ah. Oh, man, I can use, I can use about 12 more right now. But, anyways, he always wanders off, biting the other teachers. Why he bites the other teachers? I don't know why. Half the time he says it's because he's hungry and doesn't want to wait till lunch period. The other half of the time, he just says he just wants to. Who wants to willingly bite another person? But anyways, he keeps an unauthorized pet monkey in his locker. Yes, that's right. I am not making any jokes here. He keeps an unauthorized pet monkey in his locker. And that damn monkey keeps escaping and flinging his shit everywhere. Like, look, I, look, here's the thing. You want to have a pet? Go ahead. Have a pet. You like cats? You like dogs? You like iguanas? I don't give a damn what you like. But you keep, but the moment you bring your pet, you bring your pet over to, to your school, and they start making a mess everywhere. That is whenever I draw the line, man. That is where I draw the line. Look, I do not know why, but th th this monkey somehow keeps escaping from his locker. You know, actually, we did an investigation. We tried following that monkey back into the locker. We cracked the combination. We went inside the locker. Albeit, the lockers are kind of small. But, look, we, we went inside this locker here. We found an entire wrestling tournament right here under the school. It's like an, it, was, it looked like the WWE up in here. And the monkey was competing against tigers and shit. Like, how? First of all, how is this possible? How does this make any sense? And why is the you know, firecracker allowing this? You know, so we sealed it off. But then we ended up getting horribly... Well, I didn't get mauled because I'm not going to go near a monkey. But the people that did the investigation, they got mauled, horribly mauled by, uh, by, by that monkey. His name is Apu. And he's, he's also a menace because he flings his crap everywhere. You know, it, you know I, I, I constantly, you know, I see Neon Firecracker going up to his locker saying, Hey, hey, monkey, you know, give him my math book. And then the monkey not only flings, you know, his book at him, he also starts flinging his shit out of the locker. Like, how? Like, ugh. like I, look, I don't approve of, of pets within the school grounds. But I really don't, really, I, I really don't want to have to clean up after them. You know how you know how much I have to pressure my, my custodians to you know to clean up the mess that he's made? Ugh. 
Look, it's atrocious. It is atrocious. You know, he has. Uh, like, okay, so let's go on here. This neon firecracker. You know, he he's embarrassing in more ways than one. You see, you know, and, 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 you know, despite the fact that he's a 35 year old man, he still tries to be as hip with the kids as possible. You know, again, he uh, he does have a mentality, you know, of a of a seven year old. You know. So, of course, he's going to want all the latest toys, games, and gadgets. But, unfortunately, he can't afford that. And it's not just because he can't afford it. It's because nobody is going to try to support this man that way he wants to be supported. So, he went around. He took initiative. And this probably might be the smartest thing he's ever did. But he carries around an enormous contraption that he calls a phone. You know? It, it, it's, 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 it's an enormous contraption. You know? Like, it, it's... Oh, hold on. Let, let, let me get the description. It's a whole lot of stuff put together. Oh man, the description of it. Like, it's okay, so just imagine it. it's literally all these devices, all these mini machines, taped together by duct tape and super glow, and sometimes the occasional gum. But, anyways, you know, you got a whole Windows 95 setup, you know, and I'm talking about the whole monitor, the whole CPU. You got a calculator, you got an old television, albeit the small portable ones. You have an 80s, you know, cell phone, you know, the big brick ones. They look kind of cool, but they're very impractical. You know, he's got an entire he uh, headphone he headphone setup on there. He's got a VCR, he's got a DVD player, an alarm clock, an actual physical calendar, a journal, uh, an actual address book. You know, he's, he's got, you know, he's got a whole entire sound system on there. You know, he's got a Nintendo 64 attached to it. He's got a, he's got a whole camera recorder on it. He, he's, he's got all these different things, uh, a pager, you know, uh, he, he, has, uh, he has all these things attached to it. Uh, look. I don't even want to read the description. Read the description anymore. I don't even want to show the picture. It is. And it's ridiculous. You know, like how can one person haul around this such a huge contraption? He calls it a cell phone. He calls it a mobile device. You know, and he tries to excuse to use it every time they, they allow uh, you know mobile devices in, in class. But the problem is. Is that it's anything but it's, it is anything but mobile. You know, he has to carry around a whole entire Walmart cart just to carry it around. But anyways, you well know, you know, let's let's get let's get off that topic. It, it, it is it is it is very very retarded. Uh, anyways, so he constantly exits a school bus like no, and, and not just to be truant no. Look, so I I have talked I sat down and I've talked with them, and so he constantly leaves a school bus when when it stops by Soy Soy's Chinese restaurant. You know, it's a Chinese restaurant. You know, like between between where he lives and where in the and the button where the bus takes its route to come take him to school, but he's always exiting whenever the bus stops at Soy Soy's Chinese restaurant. You know, and like, and I sat down and talked to him about it, but he keeps using the excuse that he firmly believes that, that every time he sees soy soys, you know, his brain tells him that the school has gotten taken over by Asians. I, I don't know how he came to that conclusion, but that, 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 but that's what, that's what he tells me is that every time he sees the restaurant, he totally, he firmly believes that that's the school. It got taken over by Asians, and then now he has, to, he has to learn calligraphy. You know, it, 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 it is, it, it's the most. I'm, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You know, I, I, like, you even go inside there, it doesn't even look like a school. You can clearly tell it's a restaurant. Now, I'll be a very weird restaurant, but I'm not going to advertise Soy Soy's for free on here. Sorry, Soy Soy's Chinese restaurant. You know, you and your two nine two ninety nine two ninety nine dollars uh, on Tuesday's deal, you know, I'm not going to promote that. Or the fact that you have great food and you only you, you make it for half the price of the other premium. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. I, I, I am not. I am not advertising your, 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 your place. But anyway. You know, this neon firecracker. Aside from trying, aside from making a fool out of himself and making a fool out of the bus driver for constantly stopping at a Chinese restaurant, he is always picking fights with, with the staff. You know, just recently I caught him getting into a fight with one of our, co our custodians. Oh, excuse me. But anyways. You know, I recently caught him um, picking your fight with one of our custodians, specifically the guy whose position I was gonna take, but he ended up taking it instead because I took uh, I took the entire uh, principal position. But anyways, his name is Eric Jenner. 
pretty fitting if you ask me. But anyways, you know, Neon Firecracker, he loves to claim that Eric bullies him all the time. And, and, and that he's the one who always, always starting all the fighting. But you can't fool me. You know, you, you cannot fool the, the, you know, the great Bob Farley here. No, Principal Farley, I must say. Because I'm no longer a new supporter. I am a principal. But anyways, you can't fool me. Like, our, our, staff, our staff is very high class after all. You know, and, and your pitiful scars whenever, whenever I walk by isn't fooling anybody. You know, and, and the, and, you know, so what? You know, every time I walk by and see y'all fighting, you know, he's the one putting, you know, putting your head towards the water fountain and putting all the water into your giant ears. You know, yeah, like, you know, you, you can't fool me with that. You know, you're, you're like, I mean, yeah, sure, it looks like you're getting tortured, but really, you started a fight. You probably deserved it anyways. You know? And that, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Neon Frykirker has these huge ass ears. Like, oh, like, okay. Look, okay, I have absolutely no problem with ears. I, I, I like ears. Ears are essential to the human race because, you know, I, people kind of need to listen. But the problem is, is that this guy has abnormally giant ears. Now, let me be clear. Like I said before, Ken Snort is full of all kinds of different species and races of people. But the problem is, is that no other race of people that I've seen has ears as big as this guy. We even took a measurement going up to down, from the tip of the ear all the way down to the earlobe. It's about a good three feet. That is huge. And don't even get me started on, di on the diameter. It's, it's about nearly the same. It's about two feet. But, oh my lord. Like, this guy has giant ears and this, oh. Like, and, 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 and constantly, like, oh, specifically whenever he gets in the fights with Eric Janitor. You know, he'll, like, Eric, he will claim Eric Janitor throws him out the window. But we all know with his giant ears, this, like, this boy, you know, just man, you know, this man child just wants to wants to test out his ears and try to fly. A couple of times, he does fly. You know, and it, and it does look pretty um, amusing at first. But to be truthful, it is it is a disgrace in a school. It is, is it, you, know, you if you want to fly, fly your own time. Don't fly during school hours. Don't fly at my school. Don't even fly near me. I The last thing I ever want to see is just the one I think fool around me. Because then I get associated with them. And that hurts my, that hurts my entire social image. But anyways, you know, going, uh, moving forward, this man child puts bath bombs in every single toilet just because it looks cool. It, 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 like it's some, some, some of the time, depending on the colors, it does look kind of cool. But for the most part, it is retarded. Could you at least flush the damn thing before throwing them in? Like, like it's one thing if you have a clear, clean toilet, you know, with, with some cool, sprinkly looking colors all up in it. It looks kind of nice, even if it is a bit fruity. But the problem is, is that he doesn't even bother to flush the shit down the toilet before he combines it with a bath bomb. And like, and as if adding a bath bomb isn't enough, it's bad for plumbing. That's why our that's why our restrooms are either banned or you gotta have a special pass or you, they're just downright out of order. But oh, oh man, you, like you you can't we can't have anything nice for this man child around. No, we absolutely can't, and I can't give him any kind of punishment because oh, that would be discrimination. Oh no. <sighs> But look, going on, he, he's he's always freaking everyone out with his ginormous ears and his oversized mouth. It scares the living pits. It scares the living piss out, out of all the kindergartners. You know, in fact, it scares not just pissless. It scares them shitless to a point to where they run out of the school into the highway. You know, we've lost about 16 students this year alone because of it, and about 13 of them were actually ran over. The other three just never came back to school. Probably became street thugs. Well, better than being associated with this neon firecracker. But, anyways, look, he, he always ends up flying out the window. I know I've said this before. He, he claims that neon that neon likes to claim that uh, you know, Eric Jenner he throws him out the window, or he claims that you know he fell out. He, he makes all these claims, but no, like. He, like, he, he, he always ends up flying out the window when the teachers open them up to let Aaron. Because let me tell you, this school, it may, it may be called an elite elementary school, but we have kind of a budget. So we got to we, we gotta, we gotta take cuts at some places, you know. And one of the one of the places that we took decided to take cuts was in the AC department. You know, so we have to let our, we have, we have to have our windows open. A lot of them open at almost all times. But the problem is, is that Neon sees this and he takes it as an opportunity to jump his ass out the window and start flying around like Dumbo. Like, uh, more, dumb, oh, more like dumb ass, but, but if you ask me, but uh, he, he's, uh, he's always doing that, you know, and we're always having to chase him down, you know, 
those dumb ears, you know, somehow are enough, give him enough flip to fly, but yet not enough to keep him from falling on his face, you know, straight into the pavement. You know how many times you have to take him to the nurse's office, you know, and he's constantly breaking his face as if it doesn't look broken enough, you know, it, it, it is atrocious, it, 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 it is retarded, you know, and he's always coming out of the nurse's office, the nurse's office, we you know, with his breath smelling like piss, like, what the hell, how, you know, s somebody told me that they saw one of the nurses piss in his mouth, you know, because, look, okay, we have to cut the, we have to cut the budget on, on, the, on the whole, you know, nursing department as well, you know, we got an actual nurse, you know, who, who, who came down, who came down because she wanted to be a, a medical assistant, but we decided, no, we're going to take you in as a nurse. But also, we hired this really, really, uh, you know, backwoods, redneck country guy. You know, his name is Billy Bob Joe. Really great guy. You know, really great, the really great guy to have a beer with. Ah, but anyways, really great guy to have a beer with. But, you know, apparently, from what other people told me, he likes to piss in people's mouths. Why, for some reason? For his own amusement. <laughs> That's all. But, come on. Like, I, I, like, I, I, like, I know Billy Macho, and I knew he wouldn't do that. But, anyways, moving forward. Look. I I, 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 look, I can go on, I can go on for, for, for a long time about this Neon Firecracker fellow, you know, I'm, I'm essentially using this podcast, this newsflash, you know, to, uh, you know, to kind of vent about this man-child for, for, for a good little while, but the problem is, is that I don't want to take up too much of your time, you know, I, I, I could go on. But my least, and I do mean my least favorite thing about him, would be his left foot. I know, a very nitpicky thing to say, but if his left foot, I, I do not like it. You know, because this 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 boy, this man child, he walks around with only one shoe, no socks, just one shoe on his right foot. His left foot is all blistered. It's all cut. It's scattered with pimples. As as ingrown toenails. It reeks of dead fish. It's got a couple of horns growing out of it. It's got some mold. It's it's glowing at some places. But last, but not the very least, he has hair in between his toes. And not only that, he has a tiny elf, he a tiny little elf troll living inside his toe hairs. Like. Like, you, you would think it's something that I wouldn't notice very often, but when he's always walking around with that one foot, I can't help but to stop and stare and to see that little troll, you know, popping out going, hoo hoo, and, and it scares the living hell out of me. Like, I, I get on him, I, I get on him all the time, you know, about his misconduct of the dress code, you know, concerning his exposed foot. And I, I, as if I was a, you know, and as I was, ex you know, again, as, as every time I inspect it, you know, I point out all the flaws, I point out why he should start taking care of his foot, but he doesn't care, he doesn't like taking showers. He doesn't like taking baths. He doesn't like having to touch his feet. I mean, I can see why, but it's your foot. It's your responsibility. I'll cut it off for you. But anyways, no. Every time I inspect his foot, that troll somehow always manages, you know, to, 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 to pop out when I'm least expecting it. One time, I had a hammer. I was gonna destroy Neon's foot. Well, really, I want to destroy that troll. But I wanted, to, I, 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 I was ready to, 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 to destroy his foot as well. But the problem was, the problem was, was. That that troll ha has a, some kind of a weird power, you know. Like so, I said yes. You know, he, Neon Firecracker has, has hair in between his toes, and that's where the troll lives, in, in between his toes inside the little hairs. But somehow, you know, he, he, this troll has a, has a little bit of magic in him. You know, he's a little bit of magic to work. He can teleport the toe, the two toes with the hair in between, anywhere else around Neon's body. <clears throat> you know, and, and not only that. You know, like, so one day, I, I was I was getting ready to smash his foot, and then the two toes disappeared magically, and I'm like, what the hell is this? And, and, then, and then the two toes appeared on his forehead, and the troll came out going, hoo-hoo, got on top of my head, and I started freaking out because I just took a shower. I don't want this reeking troll on top of my head. And, you know, and then, I, and then I'm, so I'm, I'm beating myself up with the, with, the, with the hammer. I'm giving myself concussion after concussion, just trying to catch this troll, but this troll disappeared with magic back onto the um, firecracker, and then I made it look like as if I, I intended hurt myself ah like you know and to make matters worse this guy spat in my face you know he, he spat in my face while I was down look oh okay look I look I haven't fought anybody in, in over 40 years but let me tell you you don't spit in a man's face whenever he's already down for the count and, and, and no matter whatever punishment and lecture that I give to the boy, n n no man, man child, boy thing, I don't know what to call it anymore. No matter what I do with him, 
because he's not a damn child. He's a grown ass man in an elementary school. He downright refuses to comply with the dress code. Ha! Huh. You know. Look, the, one of the reasons why I became a principal is yes, because I have a passion for growing the next generation up, for building them up, to educate them, to bring them out to the world, you know, with the best knowledge that they can possibly have. But the problem is, it, well, the thing, oh, the, the other thing is, is that I also had this big old fantasy as a kid to want to be the king of the school, you know, to give all the teachers homework, you know, to, to make have the kids have two lunches a day and stuff. And that's exactly what I do. But the problem is, is that how can I be king of the school when I can't even take control of one of, the, of this one mischievous peasant in my kingdom? Well, in war, the king must fight for his honor. Neon Firecracker must m m might have won every single battle so far. But I will take matters into my own hands, and I will win this war. Mark my words. I will take down Neon Firecracker once and for all. My day of freedom from this hellish despair Barity awaits, and oh boy, am I waiting. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so waiting. But anyways, looks like that's all we got time for for this news flash. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe on the 3M Thoughts channel, both on Spotify and on YouTube, because I'm both because my show will be featured on both platforms on both channels. Anyways. Hopefully next time I'll come with you some actual news, maybe even a few history lessons about this great country we live in, Ken Snore. Anyways, this is Bob Fartley, the former newscaster turned principal, Principal Fartley, signing off. Have you a great one.